sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally be Where am I going to put my feet? Today's video takes us to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Now, I don't know if this is a new video or an old video, but I know I've never seen it, so that's why I'm posting it. And it features Ass Elmo and one of his sidekicks, and they seem to be at a police station, and nobody wants anything to do with them. But one thing's for sure, Ass Elmo nearly gets clocked by an irate police officer. Oh, that's quite lovely indeed. So let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. You need to stop videoing. Uh, you don't, you need to stop you don't tell me what to do. You need to stop videoing. Can I, can I speak to your supervisor, please? Can you please step out of the building? Are you a police officer? Step out of the building. Are you a police you officer? Hey, Outside, sure. Outside? No, we have the right to. No. We have the right to conduct business here and record it, ma'am. Your policy doesn't file rights. Do you know this? You can uh, we record outside. We just came from. We and just we, came from the other building. We spoke to the captain, and he said, captain, as long as as long. Captain? I forget his name off the top. But he literally. Um, oh, well, we don't my, have to explain uh, ourselves yeah, to you, ma'am. Okay. Stand by for a moment. He said, as long as we're in the lobby, we're good. We have the right to to be here, ma'am. Your, uh, can I speak to your supervisor? Your, yeah. your policy can, can, does not trump our rights. Your policy does not trump my rights. Right. What right do you have except to go to jail? And by the way, I like this subtle form of e-bigging. Want more prison videos? Send to my money to cash up. Okay, I need some money. I'm broke. A few minutes later. We're going to be here the whole day, by the way. Because... It's going to be a lesson learned. We're standing up for the inmates that are in there that that that, that expect it on the daily. What are you doing? Hey. Get rid of that. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Just working on a video. Not on me, dude. I didn't give you permission. Do I need? Yes, you do. You're violating my rights. What right is that? My right to freedom of to, to not be taped. Well, I don't think there's anywhere in the Constitution that says that, ma'am. Actually, I'm the first. I'm just going to work. I'm a nurse. Just let me do my job. Oh, hey, 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 easy, Tiger. No, you, you both. Oh. This is what Ass Elmo does best. He gets under the skin of regular working people. People out here working hard to earn a living and keep their head above water. And what does he do? He goes out there and harasses these very people. There's something wrong with the lad. Oh yeah, there's more than something wrong. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Get rid of that. Do you know what the Eighth Amendment is? Do you know what the Eighth Amendment is? Man, you're short. Ah. Oh my God. <laughs> Man. Whoa, 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 what you doing down there? <laughs> you got big nuts calling somebody short, you little small fry. You're no Shaquille O'Neal. And then he wants to talk about the Eighth Amendment. Who in the hell would know about the Eighth Amendment unless you're some kind of trivia expert or a history educator? Go on, shut your mouth, boy, and get a real job. Do you know anything about the Eighth Amendment? No, sir. All right. Make sure you take a look at it, please. What was your name for the record? Of course, right here. Thank you. Right over here, guys. Did you get everything locked up? Did you get locked up yesterday? Yeah. How can I say? What are you guys doing? Can I have your name and position here, please? No, get out of my face, bro. What's wrong with you? That's rude. You're good. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, now that's creepy. He wants to film all the women walking out of work. Nothing creepy about that, is there, ass Elmo? But he's going to get the wrong one in just a moment. Stay tuned. Oh, man. What's up, Hightower? <laughs> Mahoney! And uh, this guy... better to do? Means a lot coming from the, the guy that became a cop, right? Locks people down. What are you going to do? Look at you, bro. Well, look at you, bro. What? 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 Bring it up there. What? What you going to do? Yeah. Nothing. Kiss boy. boy bro. Listen, bro. I don't stand behind Go this. ahead. All right? Go ahead. Don't don't touch me. To me like that. Touch me. I don't know who you think you're talking to. I'll put a bastard on this that Go you... Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, I'm talking to an employee. Do the walk of shame. Look at the size of this guy. He would shred ass Elmo into itty bitty pieces. Good thing his partner's there to save ass Elmo from a serious beatdown, because that's what he would have got. Name and badge number, please. I don't have a badge number. You guys well, have a good day. You too. Thank you. You're the only guy that said that. Are you a cop? Yeah, you guys would never. Everybody's super. Everybody's super rude. That's why this is Massachusetts. Everybody in Massachusetts is very rude. Can I have your name, please, sir? Please? Being ignored has to be the worst feeling ever, boy. It's like you walk into a restaurant, you, you're seated, and then the server doesn't come over for five minutes. You're like, wait, wait a minute, what's going on here? Don't they know I'm here? Yeah, ass Elmo, just a little man, isn't he? Mr. America, yeah, right. Ma'am? Ma'am? Excuse me? You can't just refuse service. I have a question. Can I speak to a supervisor? That This is extremely... This is extremely... Can I speak to a supervisor? We don't have any supervisors available right now. Well, can you call the sheriffs, please? Because we have... Yeah, we have a situation where one of your employees was being orderly. And he... And me? And he said he doesn't care about this job on video. You, you want to see it? Now, you would think that this idiot would take the hint and leave. Nobody wants to talk to him. But remember, frauditors are not like most people. They're not even like some people. They're in a class all by themselves. They're idiots, imbeciles, and morons. And don't forget yahoos. How, especially, specifically, can, can you we, can we conduct an investigation before you do that? Because what we, kind we of have investigation. Because if he here? said that we're being uh, causing a disturbance, that means that we're being accused of a crime, and we have not. So well, disrupting the orderly we, running of a we, we, state just video, facility just video record specifically. How did we do that? I was told that you guys were going towards the areas that are not public, we, trying to stick we, cameras in we, the we can, secure part of the well, facility. Well, as a, as a captain, you understand that anything that we can see from a public area, it's our right to do that. Now, Basically, that's why it's... Your eyes can see correct. What we're saying. Yeah, correct. So, I understand what you're saying. So yeah, we yeah. get accused of this all the time. You, this is not a new thing. They want to turn... I told, Didn't I tell you that earlier? They want to turn a protect a lawfully protected activity into this silly conduct because they can't get you for, for what they really want, their okay. feelings. But you it was my understanding that Ass Elmo is in jail right now. So this new channel, I think, is his partner's channel, and he's uploading videos for profit. I wonder if Ass Elmo knows about that. Yeah, taking Ass Elmo's videos and uploading them for your own personal gain. Yeah, now I could be wrong about that. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Send me an uh, email or... Hit me in the comment section. Let me know. You know what? If you can't. We cannot go back to this. Issue, it, it would be on them just to cover it up. You know what I mean? It's because we can't trespass our eyes. So I'll tell you really something. Happens. I encourage you, Captain, to to do the correct investigation before you uh, make any uh, lawful uh, or unlawful orders, or maybe lawful in your head. But I just want you to know, uh, Officer. 
uh, captain, that I don't mind getting a room back there for a little bit. I will bond myself right out and then it's gonna be on you guys. I have a very good attorney. I'll hire her right there. How you doing? And, and brother, like I told you, I'm not here to disrespect nobody. People's feelings cannot in interfere with us. They don't like it, okay. it's on them. They have a policy, I understand. Yes. But what they cannot do is get, uh, get us to stop exercising our rights in this property just because they don't like it. Oh, yes, indeed. S. Elmo has a very good attorney. That's why he's been put in jail so many times. Man, if you had a good attorney, you wouldn't go to jail. I think you need a new attorney, sonny boy. But you guys create privacy. You have to create privacy. So you can't... It's more of an educational thing at this point. We're not, we're not really trying to give nobody a hard time. Right. We, we, we understand the perspective of your superintendent or you know the people above you too. However, at the end of the day, the law of the land is the United States Constitution, and we're engaged in legal, lawful activity. People who are saying this, we can speak to them directly this way. Don't yeah. waste your time. So we yeah. Can, at this point, not, he's being ordered by his he's, superior. He's not the guy who needs to be educated. He's doing. He he's gets doing it. His job, and he understands it. But we have to speak to the people who don't get it. Not even that, but other auditors might come to do to exercise their oh, yeah, rights. We've had people here before. Right? Well, those people. Well, those people are probably started coming over here because of because they saw the the, the main guys who actually started uh, making this popular. So those are my grandkids that came over here, sir. Pretty much, yeah. He's a good guy. So he's a good guy, but right now he's under pressure. Yeah, he, because he's between a rock and a hard place because he has the tyrants above him telling him, "Listen, screw the Constitution," and then we have the humble citizens here like listen man the thing is even even if they give you an unconstitutional order or an order it's your duty even if they're above you to say i'm not going to be part of this i wonder if aslmo finished high school do you think he did he sure seems like he's an expert on the constitution doesn't he yeah he never heard of the constitution before a few years ago though he just happened to see a youtube video that said, I could do that. I could do that. Let me get my mama's camera. I could do that. What are you guys looking to do here today? Like, well, well, we're just working on a new story. I'm this is a new story. We are. So, like I said, brother, it's it's on you to do the correct investi investigation. You're the uh, you're the one that they called to tell us. Uh, but I mean, I, I don't think that the first thing that you should do is uh, tell us to leave because we are. Uh, that would be awful. What, what are you? What's your goal here today? Like what? To get you to, to get everybody to understand that we have the right to be here for as long as we want. Just in the within business that's hours. That's mm -hmm. it, obviously. Not within obviously. business hours, we have the right to be in this area without interfering with their uh, business right there. Well, there you have it, good people. I don't know who edited that video. I don't know if it was Ass Elmo or somebody else, but it was all chopped up. And I don't know if they got kicked out of here or not, but I do know that Ass Elmo almost got his ass beat down. I know that for sure. We saw that. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. Because as we just proved with S. Elmo, there's no shortage of stupidity in the world. Matter of fact, check out my website, drdave.media. You'll find a plethora of fools over there. And if you need more fools, type in my name, Dr. Dave, the bunker of frauditors, to your favorite search engine, and you'll find all my social media websites. And guess who the star is? That's right, Shady Shade Ghanayim, a.k.a. Goat Boy, a.k.a. the Palestinian Goat Herder. Yeah, I love him a long time. He's my sweet thing. He's my sweetheart. Oh, yeah, baby boy. But as far as that Selma goes, I think he's still in jail. Let me know about that. Yeah, cheers to that. It is going to be really, 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 really hard to get through this month. I'm trying to get my whole life together right now. I'm in touchdown position, just like a goalpost. Bruh, you don't know the law. I can be within 10 feet of any traffic stop in the entire world. What are you here for? To record. For what reason? You I'm gotta have a reason. You come in and say, I'm gonna wake up today, I'm gonna go down to the courthouse, I'm just gonna start filming panoramic views for no reason. And this is the first cruise. This is oh your God. job, yes it is. My you saw no, you, you took an oath to uphold our rights and you don't even know jack shit about that oath you the swore you can't remove me with. nothing says you nothing says i have consensual to conversation off. over shut up hey, don't touch me i'm trying not to be just hit. Watch don't you touch me hit don't touch me i know how to walk <laughs> clearly not you'll put some tape up i'm coming back over there this is your last warning before you're arrested for obstructing 
Okay, so under threat of arrest. Sir, I already explained under it to you. Under threat of arrest. If you took another step forward, sir, therefore you're under arrest right now for obstructing. Put your hands behind your back. Please, Please don't touch me. me. Okay. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. You don't understand Please that, Please do sir. not touch me. Please do not touch you can't me. come into the building. Please do not touch me. It's hey, so uh, could you guys let my viewers know what the Third Amendment is? Anybody? Anybody? I'm a driving you need vehicle. Anything from me? I'm a driving vehicle. Do you need anything from me? I'm a driving vehicle. Well, I'm doing it, and there's nothing you or this officer can do about it. Really? Really? Okay. Don't touch me. I'm not me. touching you. Slowly Trust me, out. you're not gonna touch me, bro. Gonna, Why are you so touching outside. me? Why are you all touching me? I want your business card too. You're coming up to me. I'm gonna forward request that too. What are you arresting me for? Well, when you go to the station, I'll tell no, you no. the charges. You gotta tell me now, bud. Each public body shall prominently display at each of its administrative or regional. Does not say website. Why you are here? This is our first time. Why you are here? I don't answer your questions, brother. Why you cannot answer my questions? I choose not to. Oh, get your hands off. Get your hands off me. You're assaulting me now. I'm gonna be under arrest? No, that's a summons. No, no, you're not putting me under arrest right now. I'm not talking to you. You're you're dismissed. You're dismissed. I'm telling you leave here now. Nope. I'm telling you leave now. I'm telling you no, sir. Well you call some call somebody else. You better call somebody else. Call a judge. Call a judge. Do not re uh, comply with my request. I will arrest you and you will be removed. Turn around. Guys, you're taking me into custody. Do not turn off your camera equipment. Yes, you do. You're my public servant, sir. This is a public area. This is no, no. It's my property, you sir. Must, you this must, is you a public can, area. Do not record in the. This is a public the area. Is not. No, the the so Supreme Court's already no. decided on this. Give me my name and give me your name on a card right now. Same okay. offer goes to you. I will slap on your face. You slap on my face. I'll have a lawsuit. I want you to call your supervisor. That's fine. You're under arrest. Go ahead. Identify and go on the other side of the tape. Anything I can say to get you to comply with? Yes, just get, identify and go on the other side of the tape. Right now, I'm placing you under arrest for Penal Code 148, Subsection A. Okay, cool. Subsection One. Uh, okay, cool. I dare get you. out of here I now. I dare you to do it. What is your name? Now. What is your name? I told you now. Leave now. He's already threatened to rip my window out. I, I got to roll it up around you. I, I don't want to do that. Yo, you're gonna. This is gonna be a Fed case, buddy. I'm telling you, you're messing with the wrong guy here. It is not in your face. It is not in your face. Who are you? Only under the threat of arrest. Now, let me ask you, if I am arrested... I'm not having any more conversation. You're either leaving or getting arrested. I can say whatever I want here. No, I can tell can't. him. I absolutely can. You want to arrest me and we can take it to court you and find out? Be, you Dude, you're a coward, bro. Just back off. Why don't you ask the property owners to ask me to back, back off? This is order. private property. Do you own it? Are you threatening me with violence? I'm telling you. Look, don't tell me what to do, man. Call your sergeant. What's your name? What is your name? You're What's just, your name? You just threatened to slap him. What's your name? My name? Your boss. Uh, enjoy your walk of shame. Have a good day. And that, my friends, is how you handle police officers in America. Tell them to leave me alone that because I need to conduct my investigation on this, uh, on this property without, uh, inter without anybody interfering. Why are you doing this to me, sir? You're really going to arrest me for this? You're going to arrest me for this? Get out. Okay, to, this is personal property. Here they're to, talking about their personal You need to de-escalate a little bit. I don't know the need to de-escalate. You I, came I, here I with one purpose only. This guy just walked up within a foot of me trying to run into me on purpose. Not doing anything wrong. You're no. driving. You have a suspended license. Hello, my sweet peeps, my lovelies. If you don't know, honey, if you don't know, you're not qualified to take on a man. You're not strong enough to take on a man. Any man could beat the shit out of you. Ma'am, you need to leave the building. No, I don't have to leave. I'm not doing anything. Ma'am, you need to get up and leave the building. What? Why? Why because are you being so rude? you have no business here. Slip you on the I, face, motherfucker. I, I dare you. I dog dare you. Oh, you punk sir. little bitch. You're assholes. 